Well, I can see that confident smile on your face this time. It seems that you have watched closely those three easy cal videos on faster algebraic division, haven't you? Good, very good. I'm really impressed. But be careful. For this time, this x of this divisor has a coefficient. See, it has the coefficient 2. So let's see how well you handle that. It is a test of your intelligence. So don't let me down. Start. Your time is up. So tell me, could you figure out what to do with this extra 2 here? Okay, so let me tell you. So you have already mastered the algebraic division where the divisor is of this type, x plus c. Isn't it? So far we practiced so many questions of this type in the last three videos and you could do them so comfortably. So this is the second type of algebraic division where there is an extra a. That is of the type ax plus c. Where a is any number. It can be 2, it can be 3, it can be 4, anything. So thankfully, the method will remain almost the same. It's just that one little extra step is going to get added. That's it. So let me show it to you. So like you always do, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the answer. 4x cubed divided by 2x will give us 2x squared. Isn't it? Divide the number part with the number part and the variable part with the variable part. 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. x cube divided by x will give us x square. As simple as that. Now for the next term, like we always do, put a minus 1 here. That is the additive inverse of this one. And multiply this minus 1 with this 2x square and add it to the next term of the dividend. Minus 1 times 2x square will give us minus 2x square, minus 2x square, minus 12x square will give us minus 14x square. So we should be putting minus 14x here, isn't it? As per the method that we know for x plus c type of divisors. But since here there is this extra 2 as the coefficient, so to take care of it, we just divide by this coefficient, that minus 14x before we put it down. So minus 14x divided by this 2 will give us minus 7x and that is what we put here. So let me repeat here that everything else remains the same. Like what we used to do for the divisors of the type x plus c. Only thing is that before we put down the term here, we just divide by this coefficient. Similarly, to find this third term, which would be the last term of our answer, we once again do the same thing. We multiply this minus 1 with this minus 7x and add it to the next term of the dividend. But before we put down our answer here, we just divide that by this coefficient, that is this 2. So minus 1 times minus 7x will give us plus 7x. Plus 7x minus 15x will give us minus 8x. So before we put minus 8, we divide by this 2. Minus 8 divided by 2 is minus 4. That's it. Question solved. This is our quotient. And if you want to find the remainder, we can do that as well. Just carry on with the process. Multiply this minus 1 with this minus 4 and add it to the next term of the dividend. So minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. Plus 4 minus 4 will make it 0. So the remainder is 0. So first you give it a try. Start. Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the answer. 6x squared divided by 6x will give us x and we have the first term. Isn't it? Divide the number part by the number part and the alphabet or the variable part with the variable part. 6 divided by 6 will give us 1 but we don't put 1 there, you know that. And x squared divided by x will give us x. That's it. Now, 
like we always do put the opposite of this constant term here so put minus 1 now multiply this minus 1 with this x and add it to the next term of the dividend but before you put down the answer term make sure you divide by this extra coefficient that is 6 so minus 1 times x will give us minus x and minus x plus 37x will give us plus 36x so before we put down 36 here we divide that by 6 36 divided by 6 will give us 6 so we put plus 6 here so we have got the final answer this is our quotient well if you want to find the remainder as well not a problem at all once again do the same thing minus 1 times 6 is minus 6 and minus 6 plus 8 will give us plus 2 so the remainder is plus 2 and yes we can very quickly double check our answer as well by doing the operations on the coefficients so 6 plus 37 is 43 43 plus 8 is 51 so our dividend is 51 now subtract the remainder from it and now we can divide this whole thing by the divisor our divisor is 6 plus 1 that is 7 so 51 minus 2 is 49 and 49 divided by 7 is 7 so if the coefficients of our quotient also add up to 7 then our answer is absolutely correct so 1 plus 6 is of course 7 that means our answer is absolutely correct so now you will never make a calculation error in algebraic division so let's end this video on a very happy note so do this last question please I'm sure that now you can do it very easily start So dividing this first term by this first term we get x that is the first term of the answer put minus 5 here multiply this minus 5 with this x and add it to the next term of the dividend but before you put down the answer make sure you divide by this coefficient that is this 2. So minus 5 times x is minus 5x minus 5x plus 9x will be plus 4x so before we put down plus 4 over here just divide by this 2 so plus 4 divided by 2 is plus 2 so we put plus 2 here and the question is solved see so quickly and so easily we can do the algebraic division now alright so let's quickly find the remainder as well so once again carry on with the process minus 5 times 2 is minus 10 minus 10 plus 10 will be 0 so the remainder is 0 Well, in case you are interested in knowing the mathematical explanation behind this easy cal trick, then I can even tell you that. It's very simple. Basically, this trick is based on the factor theorem and remainder theorem. So, as per these theorems, we have to put the divisor equal to 0. So, that means 2x plus 5 will be put equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this is a simple linear equation. And to solve it, we have to take all these terms other than this x onto the other side, that is this side. So when we would take this plus 5 to the other side, it will become minus 5. So now you know why we change the sign of this constant term and put it here. See? Similarly, we can take this 2 to the other side as well but since this 2 is being times that is multiplied with this x so when it's going to go to the other side it will go in denominator so that means x equal to minus 5 divided by this 
2. So now you understand why we divide by 2 this coefficient before we put down the final answer. Since you have understood now the mathematical explanation behind this easy calc trick, so I'm sure you'll never forget the steps.